had a request to go through this partnership question that came from the 2019 Paper 1 exam. So pretty classic partnership question with the retirement of a partner um, and some revaluation going on. And some I don't think there's goodwill actually with this one, but let's just have a little look. So Sebastian Hamilton and Nando are in partnership together. According to their deed of partnership, profits and losses are shared on a two to two to one basis basis respectively. So that's the old profit sharing ratio. Um, there were no other partnership rules in place. Okay, so just profits and losses shared on the basis two to two to one. So Nando's decided to retire at the end of the financial year on the 30th of November <clears throat> 2018. Any amounts needing to be settled were to be done via the business bank account. So that means if the partnership owes him money at the end, we need to do a, a transfer, so credit the bank, debit Nando's capital account, or if he were to owe them money, we would be debiting the bank and crediting his capital account. So a reminder there that if a partner retires, we need to remove all traces of them from the accounts. So that means writing off their current account and their capital account balance at the end. So extract of balances on the books. Um, we've got some property at cost. We've got fixtures and fittings, trade receivables, trade payables, money in the bank, and then capital account balance. That's a credit balance. Remember, capital is always a credit. Think about the dear clip. You see it's uh, for capital, capital liabilities, income and payables. Um, and the current account in this case is a debit balance because it's overdrawn. OK, so we're going to be writing that off anyway because it's retiring. We'll be writing off the current account balance into Nando's capital account balance. Now, the thing we haven't got here is any depreciation on the property. It looks like we're going to be doing a revaluation. <clears throat> Excuse me, the additional information has been supplied with some valuation. But we haven't got any depreciation, but we have been told how the partnership calculates depreciation. So it says that the property was purchased on the 1st of December 2012. That was for £120,000. It's given up there. The depreciation policy is 2% per annum. So times 2%, 120 times 2%, 2,400 pounds per annum. Um, using the straight line basis, a full year's depreciation provided in the year of acquisition, none in the year of disposal. So it's just a case of working out how many years. So since the 1st of December, the first year end was November 2013, 2014, 15, 16, 17, 18. Use your fingers for this. So times that by six years means that the depreciation, 2,400 times six is 14,400. So that gives us a net book value of 105,000. Six hundred pounds. Okay, we can work out the depreciation on the fixtures and fittings. They were purchased on the first of June, twenty fifteen. Mm -hmm. Depreciation policy is for these to be depreciated at twenty percent per annum using the straight line basis. The depreciation is to be charged monthly on a time apportioned basis. Okay, so let's work out how many months we've had these assets for. So in the first year, we had them for June, July, August, September, October, November. So six months will take us up to November 2015, 2016, 2017, 2018 is three years. So three years is 36 months plus six means that we had those assets for 42 months. So the depreciation is going to be based on 46,000 times 20%. Okay, but we're timesing it by 42 over 12 because we've had those for three and a half years. So the depreciation is 32,200, which if we take that Oh, 32,200, I've got enough twos there, gives us a net book value of 13,800. Okay, so that's the depreciation dealt with. Then we've got to sort out the valuations. The property is to be revalued at 127,000. We can see at the moment the net book value is 105,600. So that's going to be an increase of 21,400. Fixtures and fittings be valued at 11.025, so they're currently 13.800, so they're actually going down in value. So there's a decrease in value there of 2.775. And the trade receivables, presumably we've got some irrecoverable debts in there, so we had 15.567, they're going down to 14.172, so that is also a decrease of 13.95. Okay, so let's have a little look at what we're being asked to do. So the first part of this question then it says prepare the revaluation account. Now the revaluation account, just a reminder here, is a temporary account 
um, a bit like the savings account or the disposal account. And it just deals with the revaluation of any non current assets and other assets, liabilities, so things like inventory, trade receivables. So this would usually be done when there's a change in the partnership. So like with this one, we've got a partner retiring, we had a partner coming in or a profit sharing ratio, then we could use that as an opportunity to revalue the assets. So the revaluation account, it is a bit like the suspense account. We're just going to be dumping in here the, um, the opposite effect and working out overall whether it be um, debiting or crediting the partner's capital account to the increase or decrease in the valuation of the assets. So let's start with the property then. So the property value was 127. Um, remember, we depreciated it down to 105,600. So there's actually an increase in value of 21,400. So broadly speaking, we're going to be debiting the property to increase it by that amount. And then this revaluation account is going to be used to mop up the corresponding entry. So property has been debited, credit the revaluation account. So remember with um, anything to do with partnerships, credit balances are good. So credit capital account is always a credit balance. And ideally, our current accounts will be a credit balance too. So we're going to be um, ultimately crediting the partners with any increase in value um, and reducing that by any corresponding Debits. So the fixtures and fittings went down in value by 2775. So we're going to credit fixtures and fittings to reduce the value of those and debit the revaluation account 2775. And the trade receivables, we're going to be crediting trade receivables to reduce those and debiting the revaluation account. Okay, so trade receivables 1, 3. So overall, we've got a 21,400 increase in property, but fixtures and fittings have gone down by 2775, and trade receivables have gone down by 1395. So the overall um, increase in value of assets, so it's an overall increase of 17,230. Okay, so property minus these two. So overall, we've got a credit balance of 17,230, which needs to be taken over to the partner's capital accounts. So remember, we've got three of them. We've got Sebastian, we've got Hamilton, and we've got Nando. Excuse the abbreviations here. So we are pairing 17,230 on the basis of two-fifths to Seb, two-fifths to Ham, and one-fifth so 17, 17, I already have that in my calculator. And to do over five, the 6892 will be credited into Sebastian's capital account. The same for Hamilton. And then half of that, one fifth, 3446 going into Nando. And just like with the suspense account, we just need to balance it off. Both sides need to agree there is no balance carried down on there. Okay, so the next thing we need to do is sort out Hamilton's, not Hamilton's, Nando's capital account. So if we have a look here, um, we've got, where was it, up here, Nando's capital accounts had a balance brought down of £18,000. Okay, so that's in on the credit side, but he had an overdrawn current account. Now, if you remember, we're trying to get him retired. We need to remove all traces of him from the capital section, the current account section of the statement of financial position. It's okay for partners to leave a loan in the business, so we can just treat that as any other liability, but we can't have anything in the capital or current account. So we're gonna transfer this balance. So to get rid of that, we'll be crediting his current account and debiting the capital account. Okay, the 2,300 pounds. Then we've got his share of the revaluation. So Nando had 3,446, so we debited revaluation account we're going to credit his capital account four four six just check that I've got the right number there so now we've got three four four six plus eighteen thousand minus two three oh oh means that we're going to be giving Nando a check for nineteen thousand one hundred and forty six pounds so we're going to pay that out of the bank credit the bank account and debit his capital account so both sides now add up to 21446 and there's no BAL CD, no BAL BD at the end. Okay, so hopefully that's explained how we deal with that question. I have recorded a separate video going through um, the two short answer questions from him. I think one of them was 14.2, 15.3. So one was attached to the Charlotte question 
um, one was attached to this question, obviously 15.3. So I will put the link um, in the details for that one. Thanks very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like and subscribe.